a nice non-rainy morning and hopefully none today uh, be nice to get a few days without any rain it's been good having the rain and everything I'm gonna move our sheep in to this field here come on and then we're gonna get the irrigation going hey little squirrel uh, haven't had to run the irrigation any this year uh oh donkey's going the wrong way so that's going to mess things up we're going to uh, shut this door here and see if i can get the sheep to come the other way because the donkey tends to run off and lead everyone in the wrong direction so it's a couple of things we're going to have to do here uh, let's see i don't have any string here so i'm going to have to move the donkey i think I'll have to put my hand around his neck to keep him from running off. So, let's grab the old donkey here and then we'll let the sheep out this door. Hey, little guy. Actually, he's a girl, but you get the idea. Come on, little donk. All right. I'll get this little... Come on. Come on. Hey, you all. So let's see if we can open the gate here. All right, let's go. For some reason, I'm a little bit confused. But if I walk the donkey nice and slow, we should be able to get them into the gate here without any problems. Usually they just run past me. doing right now but once I get the donkey in here we'll be all right you okay bud there you go go on in there there you go and the little sheepies will follow kind of they're getting there All right, I gotta move even further. Come on, come on. Here you go. There you go. Now we just gotta wait for him to get away from the gate there. There we go. Gloria wants to go the other way. Come on, Gloria. Come on. Come on, Gloria. All right, that's a good girl. No, but go that way. There you go. All right. So you've got plenty of water. I've divided this field up so that uh, they can't get back there. That's good, good pasture over there. This one's recovering because um, I've had them in here quite a bit, and um, I'm going to let this one recover. There's a few a few issues with this field and that field, but not the one over there. And we've got a lot of, uh, I always want to call it privet, because that was a big thing in Tennessee. But here we have, what do they call that thing? Let's see if I can find one here. I know they're all over the place. I just went through and we started picking this stuff out. I think it's thistle. Yeah, yeah, we've got a ton a thistle. We've been digging it up, but it takes too long. So I've got a natural killer that I've been using to get rid of this stuff. So you can see a couple of the big bushes there, but they've all been been uh, set and they should be dying off in the next three or four days. And then this big section here I had to treat because it's all, it's nothing but thistle in there. I'm not sure how it got just in a few sections. It's not like the whole field. It's just a few sections and then those couple of big bushes there. I want to get them before they, they flower. So, let's move on 
to getting this irrigation built. Today we're going to try to get a crane built in so I can get the pump into the water, get the electrical all set up, and get some of these fields running since we're moving into our dry season, which isn't going to last long because I think we're going to have a major monsoon season this year, um, which is fine. But if I can go ahead and get this irrigation running, then we'll be set because I want to try to, I need to um, reseed and a few other things like um, uh, fertilize and things like that to these fields and then do something with these white tops. Um, and again, if I can get my grass to start growing, then the white tops will be choked up.